Hi, I'm Leadership Development Coach Kathy Archer. Do you ever listen to those voices in your head? You know, the mind chatter that's constantly going on that says you're crazy, you're nuts, that was stupid, what were you thinking? That, my friends, is resistance. And resistance is there to keep us small, to keep things status quo. And so what it is, is it's fear, doubt, procrastination, perfectionism, distraction, and withdrawal. And it's there to keep things the same. It prevents us from trying anything different. It holds us back. And so what it does is it robs us of our joy, our fulfillment, and our happiness. So fear, I don't know if I should do that. Doubt, mm, probably not a good idea. Perfectionism, well, if it's just not right, I can't send it in yet. Distraction, oh, there's 60 billion other things I need to do over here. Let me check my email again. Oh, maybe I should check Facebook. Oh, somebody needs to talk to me, right? Procrastination, we just put off doing things and we put it on the back burner because there are way more important things to do when the truth is we're just avoiding it. And withdrawal, I mean, we pull back, we we resist, we get depressed or, or just glum and we don't do what we're supposed to do. So what we need to do is we need to learn to move through this resistance. If we really want to achieve some of that happiness and joy and fulfillment, if we really want to make some changes in our lives, if we have some goals that we want to achieve, we have to learn to move through resistance. So how do you do that? Well, there's three steps. First, you need to become aware of those voices in your head. You actually need to listen to that mind chatter and get a sense of what it's saying. You have to notice when you're saying things to yourself that you wouldn't ever say to your kids or your friend. That was stupid. I mean, we don't talk to other people like that, but we're constantly in our own minds talking to ourselves like that. So we have to really increase our awareness of our mind chatter. The second thing we need to do is get clear on what's important to us. What do we value and what are we working on? What are the goals we're trying to achieve? Many times our goal is simply to get through today. And I'm telling you, if you want a different life, you need to have a bigger goal than that. What is it that you want to do? Where do you want to go? What are you trying to achieve? What's the difference you're trying to make? You need to connect, get connected to that. And then the third thing that you need to do is develop persistence unshakable determination, grit, um, willpower, strength, uh, whatever you want to call it, that resolve to get it done. If you want to move through resistance, you simply have to move through it. Resistance is that wall. It's that, that, um, that blocks you. It's that, that voice inside you that puts up this barrier that says you can't go past this. And if you want to move, and if you want to move past that, you simply have to move past it. There's no magic wand. There's no silver bullet. There's no person that's going to come along and, and open the door or move the wall or break down the barrier for you because it's in here. And if you want to move through that resistance, you simply have to be persistent and move through it. So those are the steps. Get clear on you know, become aware of the voices that you're saying in your head, the things you're saying to us yourself. Listen to that mind chatter and get a handle on what it's saying. Get clear on the goals. What is it that I'm trying to achieve? What are the values I'm trying to hold dear to? And then start to change that mind chatter. Move through that resistance. When the voice says, you can't do that, talk back to it. Yeah, I can. And I'm going to show you how. When the voice says, mm, I don't know if that's a good idea, get bold and courageous and say, yeah, it is. And I'm going to show you. So that's how you move through resistance in your head to achieve the goals that you want in your life. Join me for this month's free webinar, Restoring Confidence in Yourself, Healing from Those Leadership Ordeals. I know that each of you have been through some challenging times and sometimes your confidence wavers. And this webinar will help you to restore some confidence in yourself and put you back to feeling good about what you do each and every day.